In this shot, I want to briefly run over some tips to keep in mind when building your assessment questions, including some options and functionality you may not be aware of. This is to make sure you're getting the most out of the online assessment engine. Let's get stuck into it. As a quick reminder, I'm currently inside the assessment authoring page. This is achieved by selecting an assessment within my assessment management page and heading to the open in authoring button at the top right of my page. Before we begin, I'm going to resize my question field by utilizing this drag down at the bottom right. First, I'd like to start with media. Implementing media into your assessment questions can be done by hovering over the plus icon at the very left and selecting media. You can insert media into your assessment questions, either through the use of a source link or through embed code. You can access these things through the media provider of your choice. I'm going to choose YouTube as this example, but the process is similar for other service providers as well. As a general rule, most service providers will have something akin to a share button like so. Clicking this will often provide both the URL and or the embed code for use. For this example, I'm going to head to the embed code offered by YouTube and just copy it. Back inside my assessment authoring page, I'm going to head to my media option, choose embedded, and simply paste my embed code. After I've pasted my embed code, clicking OK should embed my video like so. Using source is a similar process but requires the URL instead. Source also caters for custom dimension specifications, which you can play around with for custom resizing purposes. It's important to keep in mind that as Accelerate does not host these videos and simply acts as a middleman, the media you are linking is subject to the service provider's whim. Any removal or movage of the media may result in a broken reference. As a result, you may wish to use the alternative source located within the advanced field. As a side note, I've experimented around and had successful results with embedding YouTube, Vimeo, and SoundCloud media forms. By all means, see if you have success referencing alternative media sources. I'm going to quickly save this question and give you an assessment taker's perspective of what it would look like. Here I am with an enrolled student's perspective. I'm going to click Start Assessment. I'm going to click Start. And here you can see my video is neatly embedded into my assessment question. And I can watch it, pause it, and interact with it. By selecting my plus icon, you can also see that I have the ability to add images to my assessment question. Selecting this option will prompt you for a source. You can typically retrieve this simply by right-clicking any image and selecting copy image address. Now that I have my image address copied, I'm going to head back to my image insert option and paste it in the source like so. You also have the option to give an image description in case your image reference fails or you have visually impaired enrollees that utilize screen reading software. You can also specify the dimensions similar to before. For this example, I'm going to use Accelerate logo image as my image description. I'm happy with the dimensions with how they are. And if I click OK, you can see that it successfully imports the image. Similar to before, Keep in mind that while it is entirely possible to grab an image source link from anywhere, your image loading is subject to their hosting. Instead, we recommend you to upload your image to the Accelerate image library, like I did, and grab its image address from there. This way, we can guarantee that your image address remains intact. Next, let's quickly run over the link option, also found under the plus icon. Here, you're able to specify a URL. Here, you specify the text that actually displays over the URL if you want to override it. A title, which is what appears when you hover over the link as a small little handy tooltip. And lastly, target, which specifies how the link will open. I'm going to use my YouTube video as an example URL and override the text to display as video just to make it look a little bit cleaner. If I hit OK, you can see that my link's been embedded. Lastly, within this list, you also have access to a special character selector, which is relatively self-explanatory, should you require it. 
Now I'm going to move on to the inbuilt table addition feature. Creating a table can be done like so, with a hover over specifying your column and row count. Once your table is inserted, selecting your table inside your editor allows you to adjust more advanced table properties, as well as insert rows or columns or delete them as required. Tables can also be resized as you wish by using the resize selectors like so. One last note I would like to add is in regards to the clear formatting option on the very right. If you are inserting content from an external text editing software, just be sure to highlight all the contents and click clear formatting to ensure there are no errors related to formatting down the line. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.